Alright, so here's the 10,000 follower tutorial. Um, it's going to be a design of my Steph Curry. Um, so the first step is to go to Safari and get your picture, which I already did. And I already masked it. Um, this is what the tutorial is going to look like without the text, most likely. Um, so I already masked it in the first step. It's, it's going to be like, you need to find a good background of like above the clouds you see how it's like above the clouds almost in heaven or whatever I guess you could say so I'm just basically gonna use this to copy off of to help me um, and so once you have that I think it's 1600 by 1000 you are going to put a little um what's it called it's like a rain grunge effect kind of and I had a lens flare on it, which is pretty easy to do. You just go to filter, render, lens flare, and you could just pick one, whichever looks best at the end. Um, I also had a striped background that I made black and white. It's just to add a little bit more detail. And I'm just going to add Michael Vick in here just to make it easier. Oh, that's big. And um, so you get a scale. Um, you make him a lot smaller compared to what he was when I first brought him in. Alright, so, um, about this size. Not too big, not too small. Um, and you want to put him at around the middle. Move him. Nah. Um, so you're going to go to the eraser tool. It's going to be one of the circles, like this one. Uh, you're going to put the hardness at zero. And you're going to put the size at about 470, something like that. And you're just going to erase the bottom of his body. So that it makes like he's in the clouds. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the, the, what's it called? The grunge rain background goes on soft light. And the stripe goes on multiply. So the next step, you're going to have like a rain effect. You see how that changes it? Uh, you can easily just look up on Google, rain effect, PNG, something like that. Um, and then you're just going to put it there on overlay or soft light, whichever looks best on the design. Uh, the next step is in the brushes, actually. You're going to create a new layer. This brush, is, this brush is called Rated or whatever, something like that. It's in Phantom Designs tutorial. Um, one of her tutorials has all her brush packs, and you got to download Rated from it as paint splatters, grunge effects, anything. So what I'm gonna what I use this for in this design is for the clouds in this and let me just find them real fast. Um here, right here. So there's like a bunch of clouds right here. You're just gonna use white. You're just gonna put that right right about there at the side where usually the um like the golden the golden gate bridge like right here. And then, so next you're going to make clouds, which, um, with your team colors. So, um, his team colors are green, like a dark green, and a white. So, the next step is to create a new layer, filter, uh, render, clouds. And then you're going to put this on screen. It adds just a little bit more color to it. And, um... The next step, you're going to have like this Mars background thingy. You just look up Mars background on Google. And you're going to open this. Uh, I think I have it under down. No, it's under my desktop. Um, it's, I just have, it's just called Mars background for me. So I'm just going to open that up. I'm going to put it into the design part. And then I'm going to transform it to make it fit the design. And see how the light is coming from the one side? I want it to come from the other side, so I'm going to flip it horizontally and then move it around just to show more of the light. And then that's how, I, uh, that's how I'm going to use it. Um, and then you put it under screen. And we're going to get rid of this. And the next step for the design, I have this one effect. Um, I don't know how I got it, um, I don't know if you guys can get it, but it's just something nice, just, you can use any really effect, um, I have it under effect, 
number nine or eight. So you're just gonna bring that into there. Uh, whatever size is okay. Just put it under screen. And just put them like un put it under the player. Uh, you can get this effect like somewhere, um, wherever. Just try to find it on Google or something. And then next, I have a space background. It looks actually really nice. See, it just you just put it on screen. This is what it looks like on normal. It's just that kind of background, and then you just put it on screen. And it just adds a little bit of an effect or whatever to it. And then most of you guys have this grunge background. You can find it all over reveal accounts or this grunge thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you just put it there. You put it on screen, and it just like adds a lot more light and some stars behind the player. Uh, the next step, I have this one cloud thing where it come where it has like rocks and all that. So you're gonna put that under multiply. This is this could be found under above the clouds also. Uh, so yes, you put it on multiply, and then the Golden Gate Bridge part. So obviously, Michael Vick. He does not play in um, San Francisco, I believe. That's where Golden State is. Yeah. Um, but, so you're just going to have to get a new background as soon as this loads. I don't know why it's taking so long. So I'm just going to use Met MetLife Stadium Jets. Go to Images search tools this one doesn't really have to be like larger than two megapixels or four meg megapixels that I use just large um, one so we're gonna use that uh, you just gotta wait for it to load real fast and then you're going to save to your downloads uh, download image and go back to Photoshop you're gonna open that so it's under downloads it's probably still loading yep All right just give it two seconds um, once again I thank you all for um, getting me to 10,000 followers on Instagram um, I've been editing since December 27th of 2012 which is a pretty long time and this just loaded, I believe. So right here. So you're gonna open this, and then bring it into the above the clouds design. And you're gonna lower the um, size so that it goes in this one spot. Remember where like the light came from. So you're gonna put it about there. I like that. And then you're gonna use the eraser tool again at the same size that you should have it at, and just like um, cut all the corners and the edges and all that so it doesn't look like um what's it called I don't, I don't know how to explain it but um you're gonna put that on soft light so that it kind of fades in there um the next step is the moon effect mm, this makes it a lot better see how it like changes it so the moon effect it's just like a blue effect that just looks really nice when you put it on screen it's under my desktop which all my effects effects are um, you can probably find this if you just search it on Google. Shouldn't be that hard because all these basically come from Google. But um, I just have them saved for my old computer. And I just brought them here so I forget how I got them. But you could probably just find these on Google. Um, and then, like I said before, the lights coming from the left side, so that's what we want. So we want to keep it right there. Put this at screen, and then it gives it a little bit more of like an effect kind of it makes it look cooler and then this one this one was easy to find you just search underwater and then it should be like a blue thing with like rays coming down from it and then you just make it black and white and then it just gives it a little bit darker effect um, the next step is gonna be the broken glass which all of you should have it's not really hard at all to get and you just put it behind the player I don't like how it sticks out from beneath the player so I'm just gonna erase that right there and the next step is to get, oh, the water splash. Yep. So you're going to put the water splash. The first one is going to be on normal. You could just search this on Google also. Just search water splash. I was using it for the Steph Curry design because, you know, splash. Um, 
And hold on. So yeah, that's the first step. So you want to put the first one behind the player. Then you want to make an exact layer. Just copy the layer. And then put this one in front of the player. And on screen, I think I had it on. Yes, screen. Um, and then I forgot what I also did. I copied the Mike Vick layer. And you go to blur, radial blur, zoom blur at about 1920, something like that. It just makes it look a little bit better. I like it. Um, just depends on what you like if you want that or a different kind of blur. And then I have this effect that just really makes the design just have a whole lot more detail. Um, it's saved under here for me, um, but I don't know how to get it. It's just You just have to find out on your own. I'm sorry. I just really can't help you with that. Um, but then you're going to go on, you're going to put this on screen. And then you're going to erase the one by his helmet. And I don't really like the color to this too much because, you know, his, his team is in blue, so you're going to get a hue, saturation, colorize, and make it a nice green, which I like a lot. Um, the next step, oh, this is very important. You, you see how, like I've said, the light comes from the left side? That's what you want. So you're going to actually go to your brushes. And you're going to get um, these. You're going to just make it like a 140 size hardness of zero. Um, and you're going to make your color black. And you're going to put black wherever the light is not coming from whatever side the light is not coming from like wherever you decided not to have it and for a little bit of shadowing so you're gonna then after that you're gonna go to filter Gaussian blur and then put this at about 76.6 and I believe I did this for nope I just did I did this for a little bit more effect to it make it look a little bit better didn't really do much but I mean, I liked it. It's just one of these, and then each, it's just white, and you just put it right there. Um, I'm going to make it a little smaller because I didn't like how that looked. So you see, like, right there, I did, like, three of them. Um, I'm not going to bother on the text. So, and then this is going to be the basically, like, the easiest part of the design. Just go, just make a new blank layer. Um, make your um, foreground color black and just make this black um, I see what I had it on soft light you put it on soft light with a fill of about 39 just adds a little bit more um, darkness to it which I like um, once again I'm not doing the text part so the next step is gonna go to curves you're gonna change the curves adjustment layer um, it's under adjustments up here and right there curves the first curve you're gonna do is just bring this down a little tiny bit and then you're gonna click on it again and you're gonna bring this one up from about the bottom a tiny bit so that's the next step and then the next step is gradient maps I'm actually gonna teach you how to do these gradient maps so it's right here actually the adjustments right there and um you can basically use any color you want. It just makes it look a lot better. But usually I add about three to five gradient maps in each design. So I think I have the first one under overlay. Let me see. Yep, the first gradient map I have is overlay. Uh, the next one is going to be screen. This one's just going to add a lot more lighting to it. You just do another black and white one with screen. Gradient maps actually make a design look a lot better, as you can see from what it did before. Um, the next step is another gradient map. I'm not sure what color, what I had this under. Uh, let me see. Uh, screen. Yeah, I'm going to fix this. So you're going to change the black color to a nice dark green. And then this is going to be black. Actually, no, I don't think I like that. 
Now just make it black and white in another screen. Um, I'm going to add another gradient map to it. I'm just going to drag this one here just because and then that was just a normal one. Oh, this one added the color to it. See how it was like a normal blue to it. It has like another yellow to it. Um, let's see. So we can either do green to white with the reverse so that it doesn't make it look inverted. Under screen or light is not screen. Um, with an opacity of 33. I think it just makes it look a lot better. Actually, I had it yellow to black, so I'm going to do green to black, since that's what I had it on. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. And then, the next gradient map, which is probably going to be the final one, I think so, yeah. It's just another black and white one. See? It's just black and white. Um... Oh, I'm on the 6th gradient map, so it's just going to be black and white. Um, multiply with the opacity at about 70. So the gradient maps just really change the designs, because see, this is what they look before gradient maps, and then what they look after, it just makes it a lot better. You can play around with the gradient maps, to however you like it, but... This is basically how I do most of my designs. Um, usually I'd add a logo about right there, like the Jets logo or something. But for the sake of time, I just won't. And then you just put it over on overlay. And so yeah, this is basically my 10K design tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.